we need to find the volume generated by the revolution of the cardioid r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta about its axis by double integration. So this is your cardioid r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta, right? Since the upper and the lower halves of the cardioid generate the same volume. So we consider the revolution of the upper half only for which this r varies from 0 to r equal to a into 1 minus cos theta, right? And because it is the region above the x-axis, so theta varies from 0 to pi, right? So what are the limits for r? It is from 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta, and the limits for theta is from 0 to pi. So therefore, required volume of revolution, V is equal to 2 pi double integration. What is the integrant? Because it is rotated about the x-axis, so for x-axis we take the integrant as y. And in polar coordinates, what is y? y is, yes, r sine theta, right? So I'm writing here instead of y as r sine theta. And it is multiplied with r dr d theta. And what are the limits for r? It is from 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta. And the limits for theta are from 0 to pi. Right? So multiplying this, you will get r square sine theta over here. So this is equal to 2 pi integration double 0 to a into 1 minus cos theta and from 0 to pi it becomes r square sine theta dr d theta. So, so integrating first with respect to r. Sine theta is constant. So what is the integration? It is r cube over 3 and sine theta is multiplied. The limits are from 0 to a into 1 minus cos of theta d theta. Fine. So taking uh, 1 over 3 outside, putting the limits, yes, this become a cube 1 minus cos of theta cube and minus, if you put 0 over here, you get 0 with sine of theta d theta. So this is 2 pi over 3, 0 to pi and this will be a cube 1 minus cos of theta cube sine of theta d theta. It is very easy to integrate now. I know that the differentiation of 1 minus cos of theta is sine of theta d theta, right? So just integrating this simply as taking a cube outside. So this is 2 pi a cube over 3 and this becomes 1 minus cos of theta power 4 over 4 from 0 to pi. Equal to 2 pi a cube over 12 and what is cos of theta? It is negative 1 so it becomes 2 raised to the power 4 minus and what is cos of 0? It is 1 so this will go. So this is 2, this is 6, this is pi a cube over 6 into 16 and this will be equal to 8 pi a cube over 3. This is the required answer. Thank you.